Uh, somebody or a group of people wreaked havoc on Glen Forest School in West Columbia. Three HVAC units and a trailer were stolen from the school's property this week. Our Rachel Rip tells us tonight what happened. You don't think it's going to happen to you, and you definitely would think someone would not target a school for children that need a healthy, safe environment to learn. Glen Forest School in West Columbia is an independent school that serves grades K through 12, specifically those with learning differences. The school is now working to piece together what happened to their property. Heather Miller is the head of school. North Point Heating and Air had arrived to do their scheduled maintenance on our air HVAC units, and he called to say that when they went around to start behind the gym, they immediately noticed that three of our smaller units, HVAC units, had been um, stolen. The people that took the units cut wiring and metal that connected the HVACs to the building, but they also left these tire tracks and this footprint. Glen Forest School tells News 19 the West Columbia Police Department is investigating and collected evidence Thursday. We actually had uh, what they call site patrols or, you know, property checks. We, we were on that list, and I asked to make sure that we were put back on that list. So uh, we're, we're pursuing every way to try to protect our property and for the interest of our kids and our, and our community partners. West Columbia police tell us they'll be checking the property day and night now that this has happened. This is a great cost for our school to replace these units. We have insurance, but, you know, to replace these units, we're looking at, you know, on the low end of... $60,000. Miller says the school still plans to host their two summer camps starting Monday, but they'll now have to make adjustments. The kids are going to have to eat in the classroom and won't be able to eat in the canteen area. So, you know, it's more work for us to clean and, and keep the environment um, safe and for them, but we'll do it because, you know, we... It's always about the kids and who we're serving at Glen Forest. She says they appreciate the support they've received from area businesses offering to help. Reporting for Street Squad Lexington, Rachel Rip, News 19, WLTX. If you believe you have any information that can help authorities solve this case, call the West Columbia Police Department or call Crime Stoppers. As always, that number is 1-888-CRIME-SC. Now, a wide assortment of materials contain copper, including heating and air conditioning units, those HVAC units, plumbing, electrical components, and cell towers as well. Authorities say many people steal copper to sell it for high profits to recyclers across the country due to the increased value for scrap copper. To prevent copper theft from happening, the simplest thing to do is to obscure your copper by never leaving copper rolls visible. Also install a security system with cameras and lights and place warning signs around that area.